Hey, it's Josiah Novak, and today we're back again with a video on how to control your sweet tooth. I know a lot of you have a sweet tooth, me included, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you the steps required to control it, to enjoy some sweets in the process, and ultimately not completely screw up your fat loss goals by raiding the fridge for all the sweets and throwing yourself way off track. So if you've ever struggled with a sweet tooth before, Today's video is gonna help you quite a bit, so let's jump into it right away. So hey, before we jump into today's video, just a quick request, hit the like button, leave a comment below with your favorite sweet. Do that now, and then subscribe to the channel for three videos a week on how to transform your entire life, lose 30 pounds in 90 days, and ultimately keep that weight off forever. Let's jump into how to control your sweet tooth. So one of the biggest problems I see with controlling your sweet tooth is not staying hydrated. A lot of us go hours throughout the day without drinking any water. And what ends up happening is we confuse dehydration for wanting something sweet. Our body's looking for quick energy. And we're gonna talk more about this in a second, but when our body's looking for something quick to jumpstart our energy and get us hydrated, sometimes that feels like we want something sweet. So when you're sitting around and you, next thing you know you're craving a candy bar, ask yourself, when was the last time I had some water? When was the last time I drank a couple of glasses of water? Maybe you're dehydrated. So make sure that throughout the day, you're paying attention to your water intake. I would just use the urine test. It's probably the fastest and simplest way. If your urine color, and I know it's gross to talk about, but if it's starting to turn a darker shade of yellow, then probably there's a dehydration issue. If it's just a slight tint of yellow, you're probably perfect and you're drinking the right amount of water. I personally just like to drink about a gallon of water per day. That solves most of my hydration needs, keeps me from ever getting dehydrated, and helps me keep my sweet tooth at bay. So a related tip to controlling your sweet tooth is getting enough sleep. When we wake up tired or we're not getting quality sleep, we're staying up late watching shows, or we're having to get up crazy early and not planning ahead for proper sleep, our bodies, once again, are starting to search out energy, trying to seek quick boost to the energy that come in the form of sugar most of the time. The problem with this, of course, is we're tired, and so our willpower is on zero. We don't care at this point. We just want to get something quick. So we start to reach for that sugary stuff, right? The candy, the chocolate, and the donuts, and all the things that taste really good. And ultimately, our bodies just want that quick energy, and it ruins our progress, right? It throws us off for the whole day. We have a sugar crash. A few hours later, our appetite goes to the roof, we can't stick to our diet, and it's just a rough process. So I suggest working on your hydration and sleep, those are the, probably the two most underrated factors when it comes to controlling your sweet tooth. A couple sleep tips that have helped me quite a bit is putting my phone away or at least putting it on uh, night mode so that the blue light starts to go down, it dims the light on the phone, helps me go to sleep a little bit better. If I'm reading a book on my phone, I always keep the lights dim. You can wear blue light blocking glasses as well. Keep your room dark and cool, and just make sure you have a set bedtime. You know, if you're having to wake up at seven o'clock, I would try to be in bed and asleep by 11, 11.30. That way you get that seven to plus hours of sleep. If you're having trouble staying asleep, maybe a melatonin supplement makes sense. But ultimately, sleep is going to be a big factor when it comes to controlling your appetite and controlling your sweet tooth. If you are craving something sweet and you just like that sweet taste, as you eliminate all the processed sugar and try to stay away from the junk food, if you still wanna have something sweet in your diet, I suggest nature's sweets, that is fruit. Fruit is a great source of that sweet taste. Apples, bananas, berries, mangoes, pineapples, they all have natural forms of sugar. Once again, you don't wanna eat a ton of it, but some of it is totally fine. Having some fruit in your diet is not only good for you in a lot of cases, but it can help kill off that sweet tooth. One thing that I do all the time is I'll mix some Greek yogurt with some berries, and it kills that sweet tooth in the moment. Sure, I'm just like you, I like to have the occasional junk food, donut, ice cream, all that cool stuff, cookies, but it's not in my diet every day, it's not in my diet every week, and ultimately, if I am craving something sweet and I have to have it, I'll reach for a piece of fruit. So my suggestion is to start including fruit in your grocery list. Berries are the lowest calorie fruit. Bananas are one of the highest. Mangoes and pineapple and that kind of stuff is kind of in the middle. So just be careful. You know, Don't go eat three bananas 
Uh, <laughs> that's going to be a lot of sugar and a lot of calories. But listen, nobody ever got fat by just eating fruit, right? Fruit is nature's natural source of sugar, and it can be really healthy in, in moderate amounts. So enjoy some fruit in your diet. It helps keep that sugary craving at bay. And it's a nice snack too. An apple is one of the best ways to kill off a craving. It's got some fiber, it's got that crunchy feel, and it's got that sweet. So use that to your advantage, especially if you're having that mid-afternoon craving. An apple can kick that thing right away. Of course, this leads me to the next point. I kind of alluded to it in my discussion about fruit, and that is avoiding the processed junk food that is just jam-packed with processed sugar. I strongly believe that taking in too much sugar is like drinking too much alcohol. It can really hurt you long-term from your health perspective, your energy perspective, and just your overall quality of life. Too much sugar is not a good thing. It can be very addictive. Uh, and not, this is not me saying that some sugar is bad, but if your diet just includes a ton of processed sugar every day, it's gonna be hard to get rid of that appetite craving and those appetite swings that you're experiencing on a regular basis. So my suggestion is keep the sugary junk to moderate amounts, maybe five to 10% of the time. The rest of the time, eat natural sugar if you're craving it, like fruit, but just keep that processed stuff out of your house. It doesn't help you stay on top of your diet. All it's gonna do is throw your cravings to the roof. You're gonna be constantly craving it. You're gonna be constantly wondering, why am I hungry? Because that stuff is designed to make you eat more of it. So. Avoid it if you can. A little bit here and there is totally fine, but just like I said, it shouldn't be a staple in your day-to-day -day diet. Keep it moderate, get rid of the junk food in the house. Trust me, it will help control those cravings a lot more. Next up is plan out healthy, sweet meals. You can totally create healthier versions of the stuff you crave. Brownies, protein bars, cookies. I have recipes for all those things. In fact, you can check out my top 20 easy recipes below in the description of the video. You can download the recipe guide absolutely free. But like I said, there are opportunities for you to create foods that taste really good that just have less sugar. I create stuff like this all the time. I show it to clients. I help family members who just want something sweet. You can do things like oatmeal cookies. You can do your own homemade protein bars. Do homemade chocolate chip cookies that are more protein based. Sure, they don't taste exactly like the real thing. You know, it's not like you bought a bunch of Oreos and then you go make protein Oreos. They're not going to taste the same. Don't get it twisted, right? But ultimately, they can give you some sort of craving killer and keep you on track with your diet, right? And you're not going to spark your appetite as much as that processed junk food will. And, and ultimately, that's the whole game, right? You, you just want to keep those cravings at bay while still enjoying your food as much as possible. There's healthy recipes for just about any food out there. That includes sweet foods, cookies, treats, the whole nine yards. So just don't get discouraged and think you have to say no to it 100% of the time. Just try to make better versions of it, right? Try to make sure that when you are having that big craving that you don't just quickly rush out and buy the junk. Maybe you take a little bit extra time and you create this stuff at home. That way you can control the calories, you can control the ingredients, and ultimately you just feel better about it in the process. So my last tip, to controlling your sweet tooth is to eat protein, all right? Don't skip out on the protein. Now you don't need tons of it. You don't need to go overboard with your protein intake, but your meal should include a decent amount of protein. Protein is the hardest nutrient for the body to digest. It takes the most energy to digest. And ultimately that is going to help keep your appetite at bay. Protein is amazing, it's vital for life, number one. It helps muscle recovery. It does a whole lot for your health. And it, most importantly too, it can help control that appetite. I know that when I eat more protein, my appetite is much more stable. I don't have sugar cravings as much. I don't crave a lot of things when my protein intake is at a good level. What is a good level? Typically it's about a gram of protein per pound of goal body weight. So if you're currently 200 pounds and you wanna be 170, I would aim for about 170 grams of protein per day. That's enough to cover all your bases, keep your appetite at bay, and ultimately help you enjoy your diet in the process. Higher protein diets are proven to help with people who want to get in better shape and stay in shape over the long haul. All right, that wraps up today's video on how to control your sweet tooth. Uh, if you have any questions or just want to comment below with your favorite sweet 
I would love to hear from you. If you haven't checked out our recipe guide, it's absolutely free. You can get 20 of my best recipes that have helped me get lean and stay lean as well as 1,500 plus clients I've worked with. Check out the link in the description below if you wanna download that for free. If you're interested in getting help with this entire process, you can check out our Maximize Method. There's a link below to check out our page where you can learn about how we've coached over 1,000 clients to help them lose on average 30 pounds in 90 days but most importantly, keep that weight off forever and live the rest of their life in the shape they wanna be in. So if you're interested in that, check out the link below. But in the meantime, thanks for watching today's video. Make sure to like it, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what's your favorite sweet. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.